Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. Uh, the problem reads, uh, the mobile crane has a weight of 120,000 pounds and center of gravity at G1. The boom has a weight of 30,000 pounds and center of gravity at G2. If the suspended load has a weight of W equal to 16,000 pounds, determine the normal reactions at the tracks A and B. For the calculation, neglect the thickness of the tracks and take theta equal to 30 degrees. This problem is coming from the engineering mechanics uh, uh, textbook, statics textbook, uh, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. We have a mobile crane uh, which has a weight of, um, it has a weight passing through the center of gravity at this point, the weight of um hundred and twenty thousand right pounds okay and uh the boom has a weight of thirty thousand uh uh thousand pounds and the center of gravity and the center of gravity at g so this boom it has uh, a weight of uh, thirty thousand at this point here like so and it passes through there we have a thirty thousand pounds right uh, if the suspended load has a weight of W equal to 16,000, so this weight here of uh, this uh, body here weighs 16,000 pounds. We are asked to determine the normal reactions at A and B. So reactions, we have been asked to find reactions here. So we are assuming reactions are going to be at the very center of uh, uh, this uh, track so we have a y here okay let me just write it properly we have a y we have another one at the very center there we have b y okay um uh, we are told to neglect the thickness of uh, the tracks and then theta we've been told to take is to take it as 30 degrees right so now there's something that we need to do before we start calculating um since we are going to take moments either uh, moments about point uh, a uh, point a or point b uh, okay I think let's take moments about point A so that we avoid subtractions if we took moments about point B. Alright, so we are going to say uh, summation of moments. Uh, we say summation of moments about point A. This is equal to zero anticlockwise being our reference. Like so. So uh, what do we have? We have 120 causing a clockwise, so it will be negative. 120,000 by the lever arm fall. Mm -hmm. What else? We have um, B, Y causing anti-clockwise, so it will be uh, a positive moment. So the lever arm about point A is 4 plus 6 plus 3. So this is a 13, right? We have a 30,000 for the weight of uh, the boom. Okay, this boom this system here. Okay, it is 30,000 and it's giving us a clockwise, which will be negative. So it will be 30,000 times the lever arm. What's the lever arm? Um, this distance here, we need to calculate it, right? Uh, this is 12. Let me check this one here. Yeah, okay, this is 12. So let's calculate this distance quickly. Uh, this one here from there to there, like this. 
Okay, this, this is what we want to calculate. Okay, this one is going to be equal to, it's going to be equal to 12, uh, 12 cos 30, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let me write it properly because we need to calculate two of them. Um, this is 12 cos 30, and then from uh, this end, uh, from this end there up to there, like that, we have this one also. Okay, this one is going to be equal to um, that's 15 plus 12, that's a 27, 27 cos 30 degrees. Okay, I think this is about it. Uh, so, what we have, we have 30,000 by, I think the space is not enough here. Let me write it somewhere here. So this is going to be equal to 30,000 times uh, 12 uh, cos 30, right? Plus, what is the other distance here? We have 6 and 4, so which is a 10, right? Is that fine? Mm -hmm. It is fine. And then we have another minus uh, 16,000, 16,000 by 27 cos, uh, 27 cos 30 plus uh, 10. Okay, what else? I think that is about it. We have uh, considered all the forces. Then this is going to be equal to zero. So the only unknown there is by, so let's make by subject of formula. By is going to be equal to, let's grab our calculator, minus 120,000 by 4, uh, minus 30,000, uh, 120,000, 30,000, 30,000 by 12, cos 30 plus 10, close bracket. Then minus 16,000 by 27 cos 30 plus 10. What do we have? We have um, a minus uh, 1625. I mean, this one is what? 1,625,892. So divided by 13. Number looks abnormally big. Okay, so we have a one a one twenty five uh, zero six eight point six two pounds. All right, let me just go through quickly again. One twenty thousand by four minus thirty thousand. Uh, by 12 cos 30 plus 10 minus 16,027 cos 30 plus 10. Okay, divided by 13. So 125.068.62. Right, this is our BY. So let's find a y. So we just say summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero. Going up in our reference positive. So we have a y plus b y, which we already know, a minus one twenty thousand minus thirty thousand minus. 16,000, uh, what else? I think that's about it, is equal to zero. 
we already have by which is so we just replace it there okay so our a our a y therefore is equal to so we already have by right i'll just go ahead to say 125 minus 120,000 and minus 30,000 minus 16,000 mm -hmm. so this gives us a 40,931.38 that's for pounds let me just go through it again 125 Zero six eight point six two minus one twenty thousand minus thirty thousand minus sixteen thousand forty nine three one nine three one point three eight. Yeah, okay, this is about it. Okay, so we found what by is. Let me use blue as always. We found what AY is, and AY is equal to 40,931.38 pounds, and BY is equal to uh, 125, 125.068.62 uh, pounds. All right. I guess we are done. I guess we are done about uh, this particular problem. And if the video was helpful, give me a thumbs up, like my video, share my video, and continue subscribing to Ben Academy. Bye bye, and see you in my next screen.